Hi, this is Tuesday Adams. Having a rough time here <laughs> in Illinois. Um, my son blocked me. Or no, he didn't block me. He changed his phone number. Listen to this. Okay, it's June 4th, 2023. Sunday. It's Sunday. Hope everybody had a happy Memorial weekend. <laughs> I, my grandfather was Pastor Crouch, Dober Crouch. He had a jail ministry. He was born on June 2nd. I don't remember the year. But I had a rough time this year just thinking about my grandfather and his reputation and everything that's happened to my grandfather. <laughs> he had a jail ministry. He was a Sunday school teacher. He was good to me. He sent me to a private school. So then I could be educated um, with biblical principles and um, with the, you know, traditions of the Bible. And um, so that I could take care of his finances and his estate once he died. And I was the sole heiress of his property and his will. And I never got anything. My aunt was a property owner. Her name is Rosalie. And she made sure she stole everything behind my grandfather's back two weeks before my grandfather passed away in the hospital um she talked my uncle who's a millionaire but i had two uncles that were millionaires and um made sure that he had changed the will i didn't get anything and i was a sole heiress me and my son dustin my my um oldest son okay um, okay, so it is uh, 1230. I'm drinking my Voodoo Ranger. Kiss my ass. We're arguing over beer. Beer. <laughs> I had to call the police this morning because they took my truck. Okay. I wasn't even drinking at the time. I wasn't even doing anything. They just took my truck and left it there because I had bad brakes. Okay, and he was going to fix them. My son was. He is a college graduate. He went, he took mechanics. Okay, he had culinary school, a little bit of that. Um, he had, um, uh, he was an engineer, you know, where you, a mechanic for tanks, for military tanks. He's an honorable discharge vet. He was a correction officer. Corrections officer at Pendleton Juvenile Facility. He was married to a beautiful woman, had a beautiful daughter, beautiful career ahead of him. He was an honor roll student at Muncie Central High School. He was a star of the football team. He was the punter, the starter, the kicker. And now he don't do nothing but smoke weed and kiss this girl's ass he's with. Been with her for six years. Her uncle's a lawyer. This is a setup. They mean to steal his money and get him arrested for theft. Grand theft auto. You know why? Because I can't get to my truck. I don't know where in the hell it's at. It's at her grandparents' house in Yorktown, Indiana. He came over here. He wasn't paying the bills. He lost his job. Somebody can't stop meddling in his business. Okay? They can't stop meddling, meddling kids. <laughs> These aren't kind that, that are solving mysteries either. They're troublemakers. Going behind his man, getting him fired from every fucking job he has because they're jealous. Okay. I don't know who it is. I'd like some extra help here. I had to call the sheriff because I said, listen, I called my son. He's changed his phone number. This is the one he gave me. So this is our phone number. Call it anytime you need me. When he left, he said, I'll come back. I'll give you some money when, whenever I can. Whenever I have some extra money, I'll be back when I can. When I can. The man is 30 years old. Why doesn't he have a, a, a choice? I can't even be alone with him. Why? Are you afraid I'm going to rape him? Over beer. Beer. That's crazy. Somebody is going to be guilted into suicide and it ain't me. But see, it ain't him either. He didn't do nothing wrong. The guy that did this to us was a gay teenager in a circle, okay, in a, in a, in a child predator circle. 
Okay, they're predators. And this lawyer is trying to set me up. Cheers. To make me look like an alcoholic, which I already told you that. Okay, so I took my truck and then my keys and left it in Indiana. All right, then I come over here. They're not paying the bills. We're going to be out in the street. Are you fucking serious? Okay, so what do I do? Pay the bills. Oh, they get mad about that. Move out. And they get jobs. Okay. His girlfriend is not even a high school graduate. She don't even have a GED. She got 90 days to get her GED. I went and got the, a GED book. I was going to help her. Okay, well, she don't like me. and we, we don't like each other. And, um, you know, I don't like what she's doing to my son. She's abusive. And she acts like he's abusing her. Well, he might be because he's brainwashed. And he kills me over every little thing. Did you fold the dishes? Over beer. And they're out there and, and they do drugs. They do pain pills, whatever they're doing. I called the sheriff. I said, you know what? I said, it's his kidnapping. He brought me over here, bumfuck Egypt. Well, I don't know anybody. I don't have a, I don't have any transportation. I can't get a job. Every time I get a job, they go behind my back and get me fired. Acting like I'm a predator or a child molester or some stupid ass shit. They set me up and then turn around and blame me. <laughs> I'm not having it. Look, I'm not having it. I told the, I told the sheriff, I said, I'm not doing drugs. I don't do drugs. Okay. I never did. I always chose my children over drugs. A gay man did this to my son. She's the one I chose. Who's, who talks like that? Predators. They set him up to look like a predator. And if he goes to jail for something they did, and they're in complete control, her dad and her stepmom and her sisters and her uncle and her are in complete control. He don't make any decisions. Everything's her. Okay, she's making good money. That's great. Okay, so now you can't come over here and snob at me because I don't even... Bullshit. I have a million dollar fucking lawsuit and, she, and he does too. They're setting him up to go to prison just like my other son. He sued. He got the money. Okay. They put him, set him up to put him in prison. Who got the money? The girlfriend's families. Got control of the money. Millions of dollars. Now listen. I'm shitty. No, I'm, I'm, I'm pissed. Oh, by the way, I want to, I have met a writer. This is so cute. Uh oh, this is so cute because the first time this day I was here, um, well, the first week I went to the library and this guy helped me out. And I was like, I asked the lady in there, I was like, is, this, is that guy a genius? He got me a job right away. And I couldn't, there was COVID at the uh, place where I started working. And I began to write a book uh, about it. Right away, I was like, um, he helped me, but I didn't know if he would help me again. And certainly I didn't know because, you know, people are, this place is weird. Okay, there's a lot of strange people here. They already know what's going on is illegal. And they're letting it happen. They know I'm not guilty. And they're letting these people abuse me to death. I'm sitting here in this apartment with nobody. I don't talk to anybody but the librarian. Matthew Hale. You see him? <laughs> Okay, I've got to show you this. This is the sequel, but this is number book number one. It's called Mirror, a Trilogy Tale. Mirror. Okay, and this is uh, Matthew R. Hale. There's his picture right there with his little dog. He has a partner he lives with that helps him and his family. And this one is Rain Shadow. And the, set, and the third one is just getting published, but he doesn't like the cover. I could not believe my luck, right? Another writer. That's so awesome. I was like, God loves me in the middle of trouble. 
in the middle of the storm, here is my motivation. Here is my inspiration. Here is my encouragement. My, my reason to go on. People like this. Okay. So, but, but, yeah. So, anyway. I was working at this place called Pizza Man. Okay. And the guy that owns Pizza Man owns these apartments. Or used to. My kids have been here for two years. My son and his girlfriend. Okay. Ever since he's met this girl, he's had problems with his wife, of course. He's not allowed to see his daughter unless he's been supervised. Because he has anger. And he's never been angry in his life. He's never had a temper in his life. Yeah, he's a hat film. <laughs> but he was the one who backed down. He would not hurt anybody. He tries really hard not to cause trouble. He can't even breathe. Like, like he's walking on eggshells. Like, uh, like he won't talk. Like he, he can't hardly breathe. He's like that every day. And that's sad. So, my neighbor, his boyfriend's name is Petey, lost his job down there. And I got hired. Okay, well, you know about that prostitute power that um, Donald Trump was trying to kill. And I love Donald Trump. <laughs> but he showed his mouth really quickly after this. After, after when he first got in, he was probably about to kill all the prostitute powers <laughs> when he found out that's who they all are now <laughs> it's just a matter of who we are how we are you know he's, I think he was talking about press predators for money power whatever well they have a whole circle of predator circle those are my son's girlfriend's people they're like drug dealers drug addicts gay male you know predators I'm sure somebody from that circle was preying on my son because he's beautiful. He's an angel. <laughs> he doesn't do anything wrong. He doesn't even do drugs. Okay, and he rarely drinks. He's not a predator. He's really gentle. He doesn't have a temper. But all this stuff is coming on to him. I can see it's a setup. And I told the sheriff, I said, I don't want to put him in jail. He don't have to go through this. He's an honorable student. He's an honorable discharge from the military, you know, he's a graduate from college, this girl he's with has doesn't even have a GED, she's a high school dropout and a juvenile delinquent. I mean, she's 28. They've been together for six years. And ever since he's been with her, he's never had any stability or security. And they, they, as soon as they wreck it for everybody and ruin it, they can't face it, they move. I recognize this from my husband was like this. He likes to involve everybody in his business. He likes to stab people in the back. Okay, well, that's what's happening to my son. He's getting stabbed in the back. And everywhere he goes, people turn on him and he's not guilty. Okay, he's not like they are. And the whole circle is predators that she goes to. They recognize each other. Okay. So I got mad because they want to, you know, hit me over the head, over beer <laughs> and these people drink you know there's people that drink till they black out rape people rob people do drugs do stupid shit drive or wreck. No, I'm not like that I don't do that kind of stuff you know what I do I write I sing somebody just wants to make me cry because I'm a woman no, you're not allowed to be happy. Why? Because you're miserable. That's all it is. A kill joy. So I'm arguing with her over her drugs, her drug abuse, and she's crazy. She's abusive. Criminally abusive. It's criminal mischief what she's doing. What they did is criminal mischief. Okay, basically, I saw I accused him of kidnapping. They took my car, and then they dropped me off here in this place where I don't know anybody. And then they cut their phone off so I don't have a lifeline to them. I can't get a hold of them. And they're blaming, well, you should not have any sobriety. Okay, well, first of all, nobody ever said I was an alcoholic. No doctor ever diagnosed me as an alcoholic. There's a difference between me and an alcoholic.
I am responsible. I pay my bills. And you're making my bills in Indiana go sky high because I have to pay yours because you guys are drug addicts. And then you take off the link. That's a setup to make me look guilty. No, I'm not putting up with it. So I told the sheriff that. He laughed. He laughed about it. He thought that was funny. Because <laughs> we're arguing over drugs now. <laughs> but, you know, they're they're really only pie heads. Well, that's not true. But I can't prove otherwise. I know, I know something. My son doesn't do any pain pills or any meth or any cocaine like that. But let me tell you something. They don't pay their bills. They're not responsible. That's the difference between you and me and an alcoholic and me. Is that I try to be responsible and keep a shelter over my son's head. I guarantee you in three months, they'll be out moving again. Because they can't stop causing problems and causing trouble everywhere they go. And everybody kills them. And they run away. They can't face reality. They're in denial. Like you can't face the fact that I'm human. I'm better than that. You have been brainwashed to put me down. I'm not the person that you say I am. I'm not the person your dad, your gay father, predator, child predator, said I was. And he knew he lied. It was a setup. Okay. You can't you can't believe I have evidence and proof everywhere I go. Now I have to make reports, I have to call the police, I have to call the FBI. <laughs> okay. So I'm working at pizza place and I've got to pay my bills. This guy's nice, nice as hell. He gives people like that an opportunity to have housing and jobs. He's a good guy. Okay, but I got on his wrong side. Evidently, I got on the bad side. I'm a little girl who tells on everybody and I don't. I'm not like that. Okay, but this lady that works there is his girlfriend. So naturally, she doesn't like me. In the first place, I'm blonde. And they're god, my fairy godmothers over there. Silence the victims. I'm gonna kill them. Ignore it. Oh, that didn't happen. Okay, and this is what they do about the power the squeezes. Okay. There's two types of powers predator powers and doctor's powers. Predator powers kill and still and destroy. And they break things. Doctors' powers are always trying to fix everything that's broken. They're always trying to make people better. They're thinking about other people besides themselves. And they don't kill people. They try to keep people from committing suicide. That's my son and me. Jesus Christ and Mary. Well, I was breastfeeding him one night, one day when he was, wasn't even like three weeks old. There was a power that came out of his heart, Mary mine, and enveloped me. And it just made everything different because I have never felt like that before. I never felt power come out of a baby in my life. I was breastfeeding. I just, I felt a love like I've never felt before. It was just a different type of love. And we have been attacked ever since. They've been trying to separate us. And that's alienation and it's illegal. And that's a lawsuit. When I came here, this next door neighbor said, well, isn't she rich? Talking about my son's girlfriend. She has done made everybody think she's the one who's rich. She sits on her butt and doesn't do anything. She got a $5,000 rock on her ring that my son got. And an iPhone. Because he bought him one and her one. And they believed she, and he, and her homeless dad came to live with him, and he got him a job at, at that place to make over $25 an hour, and he's working it now. And, and then he turned around, got my son problems, and then he turned around and walked off. But he got his job back, and they got Amber and hired over there, his girlfriend. Okay, well, she's got 90 days to get her GED. And if she does get it, She's a predator. Remember that. She's only using my son. Look, look. If you don't pay the bills, you're nothing but trash and you're out. And they're drug addicts. They want to spend all their money on drugs and they make more money than I do. Okay, well, they moved out to somewhere else. I don't know where they are. And I can't get a hold of them. And they got the keys to my truck and my truck. And they're blaming the beer. 
I told I told the sheriff. I said, um, I, you know, I can't even be alone with him. She asked like I'm uh, like I'm gonna molest him or rape him or something. I said she's crazy. I said I want to take her to jail. She's a drug addict. I can't prove that she does anything but pot, because I'm not behind closed doors with her. She acts like a crackhead. <laughs> they can't pay their bills. Well, I can't make him contact you. I said, no, but listen, this has been 16 years. When they took him, it was 12 years old. And I didn't do anything wrong and they didn't have the right to do in the first place. It was a setup to steal my property. Why do you take a child out of a $120,000 home? And turn around and act like, I'm dirty. I'm too dirty. $120,000 home? I'm not dirty. I'm not an alcoholic. No. I paid the bills. No. Stop. Don't sit there and act like you can't acknowledge that. We were robbed and victimized. Don't you dare blame my son for that either. That girl is using him. And I don't like her. She's a deviant. She's a criminal. And he, had, he was a corrections officer with a wife and a baby girl. He had a career gone for him. He's an honorable uh, vet. He went to high school with her. He was the star of the football team. And he was an honorable student. He won't even pay his bills. He hasn't even been to the doctor in six years. Why? Because he can't think about nothing else but that girl kissing her ass. And his daddy's going to point down on my son. I don't think so. And you were homeless. And you lived with my son. And got a good job. Now you're going to point down on my son? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. So, Monday, I'm going to get a hold of the police. They got the key into the bedroom. I locked the bedroom door. And I paid the rent to make sure, you know, I could have a secure and stable place for my son to come when he gets thrown out and gets evicted or leaves. <laughs> okay. Because that's what they do. Do you think leaving without paying your rent before they give you an eviction notice is going to stop them from taking you to court for what you owe? No. You're going to get a bad name anyway. You're going to go to court anyway. You're just not going to be there. You're not going to be able to stand up for yourself. You're just going to act like, um, nobody can see me because my eyes are closed. That isn't true. You have to deal with your responsibilities. You cannot sit there and say, I'm the one who's an alcoholic and I'm irresponsible because I'm not. This is irresponsible, leaving me here in bumfucked Egypt with no place to go, no way to get nowhere, and nobody wants to help me because all of them think I'm the one who's bad. I'm the one who did something wrong. And you're all drug addicts. Every one of you. And predators. I told the sheriff, I said, I believe this is uh, the lawyers in charge. Everything that's happening is abusive to my son, too. You are not allowed to separate us and keep him away from me because all I want to do is fix it. And I'm a writer. I'm a little bit morbid. That's okay. Everything that he's been through, he can handle. But you're turning him into a fucking killer. He cries because he can't be with his mommy. He thinks that his love for his mommy is, a, is an evil kind. That is not fucking true. Man, if I had my son right now, I would hold him and he won't let me touch him. He thinks I'm dirty. I want to hold him close to me and just, you know, comfort him. And don't touch me. Don't touch me. <gasps> Why did you make that dirty? Who did that to you? You have never looked at me as anything but a mother. Predators. Predators. They can't stand mom and da mom and child relationships. You got to take mom out of the coast. Why? Mom's going to spank me for, for doing something wrong to your child. Kidney thieves is what they are. Get your hands off my child, even though it's a man. He don't have any choices. And they're telling him this is the right thing to do. 
and he believes him. He's been brainwashed. And they're trying to wreck me so I can't pay my bills. So I look guilty. You know, every time I buy beer, somebody over there calls somebody else and tells them, oh, is he buying beer again? The most expensive beer there is. Well, we're not going to let her work so she can do that. No, she can't do that. Why not? Oh, but you can do your drugs and have your little, you know, child predator and child pornography rings. I'm going to, I, I reported to the FBI. I was like, that's some organized crime right there. This dude fired me because these two set me up, told on me, and then his girlfriend lied about me. And I get fired after one week. I didn't even do nothing wrong. Oh, well. You're trying to shame me? That's torture. Well, guess what? I don't get shamed for something you did. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. So, I was talking to one of the employees there at the pizza place where I was working. And um, this guy I liked him pretty much. He was, he was a pretty good guy. He's got bad eyes like I do. And that's what, you know, gave me a heartbeat for him. He worked days. And he's so fucking intelligent. He's just like his dad's dad's intelligent, you know. And he's got his daughter working there, too. Anyway, I was talking to him. He was talking about the COVID virus. Okay, well, I told the lady that I, one day that I couldn't go into work because I called them. I told them something's wrong with my power, my lower power, something wrong with it. Because they sat my ass home until I was, couldn't leave. I couldn't go nowhere. Stephen King used to do that to me. I know you think I'm crazy now. That's not true. I'm not crazy. Stephen King used to do that to me. I could not leave. I could not get up out of that bed until I did what they wanted me to. Okay. I have friends that their dad used to do that to Okay, with the power. So, she was mad at me, and I was like, oh, no, don't be mad at me, because I didn't. She got, I called. I said something was wrong with my power, and she got mad. You need to take responsibility uh, for what they did. So, what am I supposed to do about that? Okay. It controls everything about me. It just pierced me all the way down to my, my, um, my willpower. I can't do anything unless they allow me to. Anything after that is their issue. So she wanted me to take responsibility. So she set me up and to accuse me of things I didn't do. And when I said I didn't do it, oh, well, I'm done with you now. Okay, well, it don't matter if I did or didn't. You were going to accuse me anyway. Okay. Now the son of Peter could get his job back. Gay men, they're fucking mean to women. To me. They did that to hurt me. To get me fired. On purpose. He said, see me in court. I said, oh. Picture has no will. It was life or death for me. I have to fucking pay the bills. I have to have the electricity so I'm going to eat. So I can sleep. So I can bathe. I've got to have water. I've got to pay my fucking bills. I've got to have a shelter. If I don't work, I can't do it. And you set me up, and you know you did. And you didn't turn around and try to call me crazy. Uh -huh. Why? Because I was talking about the power. Okay, well, then I talked to this boy. Okay, and, uh, as everybody knows it exists, okay? Old time fairy godmothers used to lie about it and silence the children. Okay? Those were child pornographer, child molester, child prostitution rings. Gay mafia is what that is. So, <clears throat> I was talking to him. He said something about the COVID. I said, you know, he said something about the vaccination. I said, you know what? 
My son won't get the vaccination either. I said, but you need to get it. I said, I think it's a good idea because look, they're killing our powers in other countries. And if you don't get the vaccination, they, they will kill you. You know, you've got to get this vaccination so you can live for the future because it's not about America killing America, <laughs> even though it sounds like it. They're really killing other powers. The other countries are killing us on purpose. We have to have those vaccinations. And um, she, the, his girlfriend, the owner's girlfriend was like, um, excuse me, don't talk to her. You go over here and do this. And his dad's buying the zone around. Okay. What the fuck, it, lady? Kill me for no reason. Oh, there's something wrong with you. You can't face the truth. Are you a drug addict, too? Well, I took off. I called the police. When I, it was time to go get my check, um, I called the chief of police. Her name is Dixie. I called her and had her meet me up there so I could get my check. And me and that guy are, do not have any issues. It's And me and his dad don't have any issues, as far as I know. Me and his daughter don't have any issues, as far as I know. It was only... His girlfriend, the day girl, and the owner who used to own this apartment. And he knows I had to have a job. There's no place in this fucking town where I get a job. Somebody fucked it up on purpose. And blamed it on me. And they're bullying me out. And I'm a writer. Just like, just like. The librarian. Okay. Matthew. Just like Matthew Hayes. I am a writer. I have to work and pay my bills too. I'm not published yet. Everybody keeps wrecking me. It's not fair. The Dollar General keeps saying, oh, we ain't hired corn cribs. Uh, we ain't hiring either. A nursing home over here. We ain't hiring. We, we already filled that position. How hard is it to give me a job in the goddamn kitchen? Why can't I work in the goddamn kitchen? There's a rock star that owns a goddamn gas station out here on Route 36. I can't work there. Oh, we all have enough hours. People are begging for hours anyway. This dude over here is begging for people to work and I can't go. I can't do it. It's fucking crazy. Whatever. And the bank can't hire me because of my fucking credit. Why? Because my truck is sitting in Indiana and I'm paying these bills instead of the bills on my truck. <laughs> and I can't get to it. I can't even go to goddamn doctor. On the day that I went to the doctor, they took off and left. Oh, we can't take you if you don't, you know, I'm sorry. So I bet you look, you guys gonna have to die. Cause you drink your beer and you're, you know, you're, you're a child predator. Oh, the fuck I am, bitch. I grew up a long time ago. Be my a child predator. It's you because you are stealing my child. Well, this is Tuesday Adams. Thanks for joining me today, Sunday. June 4th, 2023. Now it is five after one. And next time, uh, I think we'll be, I don't know what we're going to do next time. Probably. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but look for us next week. Look for my podcast on next week. Thanks for joining me.